Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Cricut's brand new offset tool in Cricut Design Space. This is a quick and easy way to add an outline to any object, text, or even SVG so that you can make stickers, put a background around a wooden display, or even an infusible backdrop on your vinyl signs. Let's get started. So before you begin, make sure that you not only update your Cricut design space, which should happen automatically when you connect, but that you're running the latest version of your Windows or Mac software. Then we're going to jump right into the project. So for this first project, I figured we'd go with a simple solution and we're going to go with a text piece. So I'm going to make a little sticker. I'm going to have it say, I love Cricut. So let's just write that out using the basic text software. And then I'm going to move it over. Perfect. I like this boxy font, but I think for the Cricut part, we're actually going to use a different font. Let's go with something more script like, have it be a little different so that it goes together, but it's not the same. Perfect. This one right here is easy to read and I like that it's thicker. So we're going to go with that one. I'm going to make it a little bigger and then up in the top panel, I'm just going to decrease that letter space until everything connects. Except for some reason with this font, that T never wants to get quite close enough. So it's okay. Just take it off, copy, paste, add the T back on and we will move it over to the proper placement much better. All right. So I'm going to move this up and instead of I love cricket, I think I'm going to make it say I love my cricket that reads a little better. Now go ahead, size cricket and then select everything. And we're going to go up and click offset path, make it be an outline. And then we can change that background to a different color. Perfect. Now you can flatten this and it will print and cut, or if you want to layer vinyls, you can leave it as two separate layers. You can see that it has the actual layer and then the background in the layers panel. Then we're going to go to our second project. So this is a little layer of stickers. And as you can see, the outline for this one is way too big. So the dimension here, we're going to just take that down until each sticker or die cut has their own individual offset path little too small, bump that back up. There we go. Now we can hit apply. Perfect. That first one went really fast. Now these are automatically going to be black and you can select them and click flatten. By doing that, you have one layer instead of two, and now you can print and cut these as stickers or select backwards. And now instead of black, I'm going to change this to white. I think the stickers in this case will look better on a white background. And then instead of just a simple white background, I'm actually going to make an offset path of my offset path, a really thin one because I want all of them to be individual. Perfect. And now it has a black line around that white background. Now we'll take all three layers, select them, flatten them down and we will have one sticker with our little uh, um, item, <laughs> the white outline and a black outline around the whole thing. Perfect. Those are going to be so cute as die cuts. Let's do another one. So for this next piece, I have a little bunny. I cut this out of basswood, but in order for the basswood to be thick enough to stand up, I want to put a background on it bump up those dimensions, the distance there. The maximum you can do is an inch, but we didn't need quite that much for the bunny. Perfect. Now, last but not least, our little Easter piece. Now this I'm cutting out of infusible ink. So let's change that offset path until all. So now when we change that color, you can really see that it's behind all the words. Perfect. Now this piece, I actually cut vinyl for the black and infusible ink for the green. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the original one that I did over in Adobe Illustrator. So you can really see the difference. This one in Illustrator took me a couple minutes to put together. Whereas the one in Cricut Design Space with offset path, I mean, you watched me do it. It only took a couple seconds and look how similar they are. 
This offset path thing is amazing. There's only a few pieces on the right that are different and that's because I didn't want to take the time to go around each and every letter. This is a total game changer. What are y'all going to make with it?